Well, tensions between Palestinians and Israelis are approaching boiling point in the West Bank. And now the UN is calling for an investigation as Saturday's death of a Palestinian man in Israeli custody threatens to make matters worse. In a few short weeks, President Obama is due here to talk peace. Right now, his prospects seem bleak. Spiraling violence, given another twist today, as thousands attended the funeral of a Palestinian man who died in Israeli detention. Israel says Arafat Jaradat suffered heart failure. He leaves behind a pregnant wife, young children, and a family that insists his body bears the marks of torture. His mother told me, the Israelis take everything, our homes, and now they have taken my son. <laughs> the masked gunmen were a reminder of earlier violent uprisings. For now, there seems little appetite for an armed intifada, but the fury is genuine. It's concerned the protest could lead to a new outbreak of violence. Palestinian anger is on the rise, especially after Arafat's death. I think people will continue this popular uprising to support the prisoners and denounce this crime. Arafat Jaradat's body has been brought home to his family. And people in this village are outraged at his death. They're calling for an international investigation to find out what really happened inside the Israeli jail. Jaradat was married with two children and a third on the way. We call for an intifada to release prisoners from jail. Justice will prevail when Israel stops doing this to prisoners. But not everyone in Jaradat's family want the demonstrations to continue. The Palestinian street was boiling before. With Arafat's death, things became more tense. I hope nothing happens. We don't want innocent people like Arafat to die. Over the years, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have been arrested by Israel. But the family of Arafat Jaradat never imagined that a week after he was taken away, he would be returned for burial.